What's up guys, it's Mion. I am back with another video, back with another NASCAR diecast review. It's another Authentics review, and it's the last, for now, of the Authentics reviews that I need to do. And, uh, this is another 2023 Wave 1 car, and I was a little weird, I thought weird because the fact of that, um, uh, thought weird, okay, yeah, grammar. Um, because this doesn't have the 75th anniversary sticker on it, or decal, and then I realized, wait a second, it's a 2022 car. <laughs> So anyway, this is Todd Gillen and his number 38 A&W &A Root Beer Float Day, or National Root Beer Float Day, uh, Ford, for, um, why am I drawing a blank? It's the team, for, for, uh, Front Row Motorsports, there we go. I had to think for a second, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself about that, but anyway, um, Let's go ahead, let's get the die cast out of the box. I apologize for the uh, misinformation, or the misremembering of information at the beginning there. Um, it happens. And there. There's the car, or the sticker, rather. And here's the die cast out of the box. Zoom in. Thank you. Um, so, Todd Gillen. Last year, of course, he was a rookie. Hence the rookie stripes. Um, and by the way, awesome to see a number 38 car get made in Authentics. I think this car was... I believe this car was DNP'd. Um, which means it wasn't produced. It didn't hit MLQ, which is a uh, hot topic in NASCAR diecast uh, chats. Because, uh, yeah. Please make sure to go to Lionel Racing and go pre-order... All of the smaller team diecast from the Cup Series, all of the Xfinity diecast, all of the truck diecast, because god damn it, we fucking need them! Especially the smaller ones. Fuck! Anyway, sorry. So Todd Gillen last year in the 38 car, and really, the thing with this car for Furniture Row, or not Furniture Row, Front Row, you dumbass. Furniture Row died years ago. Um, But the thing with this car, or this number, is that... It's, by the way, paint chip right there, is that it has not been a stable ride for drivers. It's like, I, it's like you're in the car for like a year or two, and then you get booted out for somebody else. And this year, that's exactly what happened, because it was originally announced that Gillen was gonna, was back for the full season or what have you. And then, um, you know, if I could edit, I would edit in the, well, that's a fucking lie meme. Because then it was announced that Zane Smith was signed um, to take to run like somewhere between I think six to eight races in this car, and Gillen ended up getting rides mostly with uh, with Rick Ware uh, in the fifty one car. Um, as a result, so and and the thing is, is that with Zane Smith, obviously we all want to see him in the Cup Series. I think he'll do well up here. The problem is for Todd to get shafted the way he did, and it's not like his rookie season was anything special because it wasn't, but for him to get the shaft like that is absolutely insane. It's like you ha you've had Michael McDowell there for so long, and I think, honestly, his Daytona 500 win last year has made it so that he's probably not going anywhere for some time. But, like, the 38 car has not been all that stable in terms of drivers, really, I think, ever since David Reagan left. Um, and it's a shame, in a way, because there are guys, you know, because, you know, if you give these guys enough time, there's a chance that they could perform, but they have to perform, so. For Todd, um, again, this season hasn't been anything too spectacular. Uh, it just is what it is, and that's how it's going to continue to be for him. Um, if I could say anything nice, I would just say that Hopefully things get better. I don't know what next season's gonna be like for him. Yeah, that's really about it. So um with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will catch you all next time. Peace.